You may have seen some posts in Facebook groups or noticed some posts on Instagram. Supermarkets are out of salt, at least at the time of making this video. Everywhere you go, from the smallest corner store to the largest 4X Maxima, regular table salt and other forms of salt are completely out of stock. One source noted that Ukrainian rock salt sold in stores, which normally might cost just 39 cents per kilogram, is now selling on Facebook groups for 4 to 6 euros. You may already know why this is. Or maybe you have your own theories. But today, let's take a look at this strange situation and just what exactly is causing it. Many people commenting on this situation will often reference the toilet paper buying frenzy of 2020. When the pandemic hit early in 2020, toilet paper, among other products, was the first thing people purchased. Toilet paper sales up more than 100% from this time last year. Even though there was theoretically enough for everyone to live normally, people in some parts of the world bought up supplies in massive quantities, hoarding enough for months of regular use. People are going to stores and they seem to want more toilet paper than they could ever use in a six year period if they had continual diarrhea. And now it's gone. It's all gone and people are panicking. This had nothing to do with a real increase in demand or even a catastrophic issue with supply. People simply did it because others were doing it. And eventually others were doing it because this panic buying eventually caused a legitimate shortage of supply. I just want one pack. No, not one pack. Researchers say that the buying of toilet paper was a coping mechanism to help people feel in control of an uncertain situation. So is this the case in Lithuania with this widespread shortage of salt? Well, yes and no. In this case, the trigger for the shortage of salt does indeed stem from a basic supply issue. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has affected Ukraine's ability to produce and export salt, with one of the main regions of Ukrainian salt mining in the east disrupted by war and conflict. If this wasn't bad enough, the country banned the export of salt on March 9th, cutting off any residual supply that was still making its way through the system. These events have affected Lithuania's supply since the country gets salt from Ukraine. However, there's more to the story than this. It's not just that supplies have stopped or slowed, but that Lithuanians have been buying much more salt. Vakaru Expresses reports that some supermarkets have experienced a tenfold increase in salt sales. It came to our attention that it was Ukrainian and that people were afraid of the disruption of the salt supply, the communication manager of EK stated. It so happened the supply of rock salt from Ukraine is disrupted, we are currently intensively looking for an alternative. Later, there was a domino effect when people started buying any salt. It's clear that the situation goes beyond storage and panic buying, and that it's possible that some buying Ukrainian salt want to show their support for the country or gather supplies for incoming refugees. Vincent Sack, an independent nutrition and culinary expert, told Alpha.lt that what he's seen is a mass psychosis. The majority of the nation has a Russian attitude, so they want to wipe everything out, he said. Sack does admit that salt can be used for both canning and salting meat, however, he doubts that there are so many pig farmers. Once everyone can get their fill of salt, it's possible that there will still be a supply shortage. That's because even though salt suppliers exist in other parts of Europe, such as neighboring Poland or Spain, sourcing supplies and establishing purchasing agreements will take time. So, at the time of making this video, salt continues to be a scarce and precious commodity, even if it's not something that can or should be ingested in such large quantities. While it might be a little more useful than buying a mountain of toilet paper, do us all a favor and only buy what you really need. What do you think of the salt buying craze? Is there any way to avoid mass panic buying? Let me know by leaving a comment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.